Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 1, Problem Set. So for this problem set, we see for number 1 it says fill in each blank. And what we're trying to show is what can be filled in for Part A that will keep us at an identity of 21 or a value of 21. Well, I know um, that I'm looking for 21. And this is saying add right here 15. So that's 21 plus 15. And then this one is 21 plus 15 minus 15. Because if I remove that 15 by subtracting a 15, I'm left back at my original 21. So when I add a 15 to 21, I might get 36. That's what I would get. But when I subtract the 15 away, I'm going to end up back at 21. So we're looking for these identities here. So right here I see I have 450. And if I take away 230 from it, but then immediately add back 230, I'm going to still end up with 450. So let's look at C. And we have 1,289, and I'll draw a tape to represent that. And I know uh, I have to subtract something, but if I add 856, that's much more than 1,289. But I know if I subtract off what I just added, which is 856, that will cancel off and I'll be back at 1,289. So I know that I'm subtracting off 856 because when I add 856 and then subtract it, or subtract 856 and then add it, they really just cancel each other out. So I'm left with 1,289 and 1,289. Now down at the very bottom, we have number two, and the question states, why are the equations w minus x plus x equal w and w plus x minus x equal w called identities? And the reason why they are identities, because the variable or the variables can be replaced with any numbers and once you complete the operations you are still at the original value which in this case would be W. Um, another statement for that could be the value of the original number or a variable in this case it's W is still the same after completing the operations I'll stretch that so you can see it now uh, a quick example of this so if I have W and I subtract off an X but then add that X back in I'm still at W meaning if I replace W with just any number like 5 I subtract 2 but then add 2 5 minus 2 is 3 but if I add the 2 back in, I'm back at 5. So that's where it's showing it that any number that you plug in uh, for x, if you subtract it and then add it, you're, you're really just getting back to the original uh, value that you started with. In this case, it's w. Same thing, whether you add x and then subtract x, or whether you subtract x and then add x. Uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.